Hello YouTube! So after falling in line for about 2 hours at my local game store, we finally got our hands on the latest Pokemon game in Switch, Pokemon Sword. So just a bit of a background, the last time I played a Pokemon game was about 3 years ago, and that was with Pokemon Sun. So yeah, I skipped Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, and let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee. As you can see, the main reason I bought Pokemon Swords because of Surfetch, I would like to place him on my team. And one of my friends bought Pokemon Shield, so I'm just going to trade with him for the exclusives like Galarian Ponyta. Without further ado, let's start a game, shall we? First things first, I'm going to choose the language. So of course, we're going to pick English. Hmm. It's already asking us to pick a character. And name already. None of that usual professor thing where he's going to ask for your name, etc. Where's uh, the capital? Wait. Shift. Oh, there we go. Of course, I'm just gonna pick the channel, the channel name for my name in game. Change the language after starting your game. Okay. Information correct. So right from the beginning, the game asked us to choose our gender. Welcome one and all, welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. Our beloved Galar region is a wonderful place, with thriving nature. beautiful cities, and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. Thanks to help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon are all around us, in the sea, in the sky, and even with us in our towns. And those of us who choose to race and train Pokemon to do battle and compete, we call Pokemon Trainers. Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it is a pleasure to be here. Now turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Champion Leon's Exhibition Match! Guess we're going to be up against him at the end of the game. And yeah, it's a Charizard. Exhibition or not, Leon, your pristine record is about to end. Oops. No, I don't lose battles, Raihan. Charizard, Dynamax! Great of us has seen this in the trailers already. Woohoo! Oh, we have a munch locks in our room. Wonder when we'll be able to customize our look. It's 
It's up. Hello, hello. Oh. Better flash new phone, Kindred. Were you watching Lee's exhibition mash on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know, the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with this famous Charizard pose. Pop, didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Yeah, that is exactly why I came running over to get Kindred. Never mind watching the match now. I've got it recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. Come with me, Kindred. You should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits. I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Now I've gotta run. See you at mine later. I should be able to take control of our character now, I think. Yeah. Uh, okay. We use the analog for movement. Uh, bring up the menu using the X button. And we can save. Let's access the, op Let's access the options first. Text speed, normal. Let's switch it to fast. Battle effects on. Battle style switch or set. Let's make it set. Uh, send to boxes. You can choose to have Pokemon automatically send to your boxes or not when your party is full. Manual. Give nicknames. You can choose whether you wish to give a nickname to a Pokemon when you obtain it. Let's leave that one on in case. But as far as I know, we should be able to change nicknames at all Pokemon centers. Mm, vertical camera controls, regular, regular. Auto save, let's turn this off. Casual controls. This mode makes it easier to play with one hand. Keep movies off. Alright, that, that will be it. Save the settings. And let's check the town map. Rotom. Hmm. Sure you haven't forgotten anything you might need before you set out. So we're here at Postwick. What's this? Slumbering Wield. Slumbering Wield. Toggle whether on or off. That's nice. You can see if it's sunny, rainy, or... Everyone here is having a snow. Hail. Next destination. Okay, let's save first. Mm, now that is done, let's check our room. It's a fireplace that's built into the house. It keeps things warm in the harshest winter. Mm. Munchlock leaves leftovers around its bed from time to time. There are lots of there are lots of books and magazines about Pokemon neatly lined up. It's a television that mom uses to watch her comedy dramas. The books again. How about the table? Can we, can we inspect the table? Hmm, nothing. That will be it. Hold on. How about this picture frame? Uh. Nope, it's still the fireplace. Let's check out Munchlux. Can I have you on my team? Guess not. <laughs> Where should we go? I want to check everything first. You're looking for your bag, Kindred. Didn't you leave it in your room? And grab yourself a hat for the weather as well. Okay. Right, right, right. Hold on. Let's browse our own home first. Munchlucks will come to eat any leftover food so the sink is sparkling clean. Hmm. That's neat. It's a state-of-the-art microwave oven that mom insisted on buying. Mom, please. Oh, hey, Pikachu. And it's our Nintendo Switch here. The latest video game console is sitting by the telly. Pikachu plushie? It's a plush of the Pokemon Pikachu. It's super soft to the touch. I have one in my room as well. <laughs> Although it's... It's with my nephew right now. It's a brand new telly. Your mom bought it so that you could use her game console. Thanks, mom. Eevee poster. What's this? Grab. 
bag. You grab your dad's old bag. That's one heck of a bag. Open the menu by pressing the X button. You can save your progress by selecting save from the menu. You can also check your location in your next destination by selecting the town map. We already did those earlier. And you can check this adventure guide anytime you want in the key item section of your bag. Let's sleep. Nope. <laughs> it's the bed you went to buy as a family. It's super comfy and puts you to sleep instantly. So another way to heal my party Pokemon. Probably. Simple desk that you can keep using even when you become an adult. Uh, what else, mom? Hello, mom. Oh, don't you look a treat? I knew that bag would suit you. Now hurry along. Hap is waiting, isn't he? But remember, no go into the forest for the two of you. Okay, mom. We still can customize our own look. Wonder when. Hop is waiting for you. Better head outside. That marked area. We do. Let's go, Hop. <laughs> Have a look at you, Kindred. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. At least we know that it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. Seriously? <laughs> Open the door for us, Wooloo. Or should we open it for you? Hey, you silly Wulu. I see what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on the fencing. Now you listen, no, no going past that fence. Everyone knows that there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering wild. Okay, so it's another area. <laughs> now that that's taken care of, how about it, Kindred? Let's race! Bet I can make it to my house first. What with you talking about with that big old bag? <laughs> That's unfair. Number 3 2 we won. Welcome to the town of Postwick, a farming town since days of old where people and their Pokemon live in close harmony. Hello, Wulu. <laughs> and there are also Butterfreeze there. Hold on, can we check what's inside the bag? Three potions. What else? No, no, no. Not using it yet. TM, 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 TM. We have a key item, Adventure Guide. A compact device that automatically collects and records advice when a trainer is out on an adventure. We also have a fishing rod early in this game. Use it by the water to fish up various kinds of Pokemon. Perhaps I can get a Gyarados as early as possible. I mean, in the fishing rod, we may, be, we may be able to catch Magikarps. So race them to level 20 real quick. The power of science is amazing! Now you can battle and trade Pokemon with other people just by walking around. Isn't that super amazing? Wool is blocking the way, guess we can't, still can't go there. Hold on. Hey, a Kindred, Hop was looking for you, you know. But no need to go to the next town to find him when he lives right next door, right? Obviously. Hop's house. Hmm. Hold on, let me save the game first because it may prompt us to choose our starter Pokemon. And I may need to choose the nature for Grookey first because I'm not exactly sure when we are going to be able to get the mints which would allow us to change the nature. Rather, the stats which the nature boosts. Oh, and you've brought along you brought along Kindred. Hello, dear. Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? Have you got him crammed in a cupboard? He's still not here yet for the hundredth time. Honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. He's probably only just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. 
Then that's where I'm going. You know Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? Yes, that probably is for the best. You've got to come with, Kindred. You've still never met my big bro, right? You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. Sure, sure, Hop. <laughs> I'll wait for you out on the route. Go on with Hop to pick up Leon, won't you, Kindred? I know you're the reliable sort. I'll have everything ready for a barbecue in the garden by the time you're all back. Nice. I want some barbecues. Mm. Can we invade upstairs? Let me check. Is this supposed to be Hop's room? Nope. Uh, maybe this one. We have a poster of different po different types of Pokeball. Or is this about ranked battles? It's one of the TVs that Hop always watches the champions matches on. We have a poster of Charizard, Machamp, and Gengar. Who is this? Leon is so busy that he hardly comes home, but I would like to keep his room clean and tidy. So this is what? Leon's room? There's a collection of Barry's cats. It's a perfectly made bed. It doesn't seem to have been used for a long time. Collection of Barry's cats. Top shelves are filled with books that seem to be hard to understand. Only adults read those type of books. Nothing here. Hello. There are books about the champion. All these trophies belong to the champion. To Hop, his brother is a superhero. I see that sound whenever you bump into a wall is still there. <laughs> Nothing else here. How about this one? Mm. This is where we are going to have a barbecue later, as said by Hop's mom. And they also have a pond. Hello, Hop, let's go. Let's get a move on. Only remember, Kindred, wild Pokemon could come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. I've got my wool with me, so I'm ready for battle. battles against wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Kindred, so we'll still. we'll steer clear of the tall grass as we go. Route 1. Can't go into the grass yet, unfortunately. Let's go and meet Lee at the station. It's dead ahead from here. Let's go. What's happening there? Hold on. Let me save first. Whoops, whoops. Sorry. No wandering into the tall grass for you if you've got no Pokemon of your own, mate. Alright, it's Hop's brother Leon with his trusty Charizard. Champion pose. <laughs> hello, hello, Wedgers. Your champion, Leon, is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. He's our unbeatable champion, Leon. You and Charizard are the greatest. Well, thank you for that. I hope you all carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy from battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title. We're on it. We've all been working on our battle skills just like you've taught us too, Lee. But that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Too true that Charizard is blazingly strong. But other Pokemon can be strong as well. 
That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish is for Galar's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. Grrr. From Charizard. <laughs> Lee! Up! So, my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown. Exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Bingo! That's the sort of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated so long, Ellie. And these bright eyes over here. I've got it. You must be Kindred. Am I right? I've heard loads about you from a little brother. I'm the Galar region's greatest ever Pokemon champion and a massive Charizard fan too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Come on, Lee. And you, Kindred. Bet I can beat the both of you back home. That, Hop. Always wanting to be the best, isn't he? With a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Well, everyone, I bid you farewell for today. But don't you fret. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time. Alright, we are going back to Hop's home. Where's the barbecue? Maybe later. Come on, Lee. You promised us a present, so out with it. You brought Kindred and me Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then. The greatest gift from the greatest champion. Showtime, everyone. Let me save first. Take a good look, you two. The grass type Pokemon Grookey, the fire type Pokemon Score Bunny, and the water type Pokemon Sobble. Score Bunny, the energetic one. I was just chilling in the pond. In the pond. Well. <laughs> All right, everyone. Line up. Which will you choose? I guess I get to choose first. Go on, you pick first. I've already got my Wulu after all. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna save first to choose nature. I mean, if ever we don't get to have the nature I want the first time I get my starter. So out of all these three, I'm a fan of grass type Pokemon in general, so I'm gonna pick Grookey. <laughs> Isn't that obvious? The grass type Pokemon Grookey, eh? It's soothing. Like a nice long walk in the woods. The grass type Pokemon Grookey, is it? Yes, sir. You chose Grookey. Would you like to give Grookey a nickname? Maybe later. Grookey has been added to the party. So it'll be Grookey for you. Nice one. Then I'll go with Sobo. You're mine. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I'll be doing some serious training. I thought he's supposed to be my rival. I thought. I thought he would choose Core Bunny. Anyway, maybe they're changing things. I bet you will be Hop. That's why I brought along this Pokemon for you and Kindred. So the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together. 
to try to reach me. Sad Scorbani. <laughs> and you'll come with me. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but real strong and real kind too. Alright, enough of all this trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's all eat. Not sure if resetting would be a good idea. Cutting is quite. Well, not really that long, but... Anyway, let's see. You spend the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting on alright? Understanding one another? Maybe even built up a bit of love? Of course I have, Lee. Kindred's made fast friends with this Grookey too. Then, listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokémon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday... You might even become worthy of rivals for me. The unbeatable champion. We're looking at him for Lee. I'm the one who'll be coming to challenge you. If you think Kindred might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose to him and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be the first rate in battle too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already, Hop? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend if he's up for it. What do you say? Willing and ready to take Hop on in the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Sure. Believe in your partner Pokemon and care for them too, with all your heart. Do those two things and I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. Looks like everyone's on board. Pokemon and trainers alike? Then let's do this! I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. Straight into the battle. Uh, I hope we... Hope we get to... We get the mints early in the game. We are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. Pokemon Trainer Hop sent out Wooloo. Then he has two Pokemons, and I only have one. Let's see if we'll be able to beat him. I have a female Grookey. Uh, can we check the nature of Grookey here? Where is his nature? Special defense, speed? What's that? What's the nature of that? This Pokemon is pretty naive by nature. Mmm, naive. Not sure if this nature would suit Grookey. I get the feeling that its final stats would have low speed. Maybe high attack and high defense. Based on the current stat that he has, wait. He has actually high speed? Well, he has, naive by, he has a naive nature, so that would boost his speed maybe by 1 since he's still level 5. Hmm. 12 attack, 10 defense, 13 speed. Low special defense, that's it. Well, because live nature decreases special defense by 10%. Special attack 9, okay. So... High attack, high defense, high speed. Is he going to be a physical sweeper? Not sure if I should look for another one. Perhaps he actually has a high speed. Anyway, we will be able to we, we will be able to change natures later, so I guess I'll just stick with this. 
I mean, if he is not a naive nature, then his speed will, would probably be around 11 or 12, considering the individual values as well. Guess we'll stick with this for now. Yeah, let's stick with this then. Use mint later on. Can we beat Wulu? Come on, Rookie, come on, come on. Well, this Wulu is level 3. We have a level advantage. But it still has a Sobble prepared. Critical hit! Wonder if it's actually part of the first battle. The Pokemon gained experience points. Plus 55. That's enough to level up. Rookie. Okay, plus 2 attack, plus 2 HP. Plus one defense, plus one speed, zero special attack. Okay. Well, there's a chance that the final evil would change his stats, but let's see. Branch poke. Maybe that's a grass type move. It's not over yet. I've added another trusty. We have a move info by pressing the Y button to now wear Joy Cons. Let's see. The user attacks the target by poking it with a sharply pointed branch. Power is 40, accuracy is 100. Physical category. And grass type. Did you already know about type advantages? Of course. Of course, we know already. Pokemon gained experience points. Level 7? That's fast. Plus 2 attack, plus 1 defense, plus 2 speed. Hmm. Perhaps this nature is actually fine, but he has a low special defense. With my two Pokemon with your one, you and that Grookey are too much. Got 400 for winning. Well, that was a shock, because I know now why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Maybe almost want to let ch out Charizard and join in on all the fun. Good effort out there, Grookey. Why don't I get you all sorted? He killed Grookey. And Kindred, you've got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a, ri be a real rival to Hop, would you? Push him and make the both of you stronger. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You've seen me battle now, Lee. So come on. You've gotta let me take on the Pokemon gyms. You? Join the gym challenge? You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Galar region? Not putting the cart before the rapid dash there, little brother. That's really what you want to do? You two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially your friend Kindred. Before you think about getting gym badges, best to think about getting a Pokedex. Trainer's Pokedex helps them learn lots of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data, you know? It's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, right, we get it. Pokedexes then, we're on it. Looks like it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Kindred. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know what I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion, so completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You'd probably better go tell your mom that we're heading out though. Alright. Be going back to my own home to tell what? 
Kindred, did you hear that just now? Yeah. Let's check it. Let's check it up. What happened? The gate's open! And the wool that was there? Oh no. He went to the forest. Wait, was it the forest? Anyway. <laughs> it was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through there, do you? Of course it it did. But it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once and she came back in a real state. And that was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterward. Kindred, what do you say? Uh, of course we got we got to save it. I mean, we already have our own Pokemon anyway. Right? Even if we're not supposed to, this is the kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. Hope you're ready for anything, because we're going in, Kindred. Let's go. Let's get it! Come on, Kindred, we can't just leave that Pokemon on its own. I know, right? Slumbering Wild. That Wulu, where do you think it got off to? The fog is really coming on thick now. If you don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. Uh, mm. Who is this? Squawvet? First time I've seen this one. Mm, level 2. Wonder what is this type? Probably normal. For now, I'll ignore the EVs, effort values. I mean, I'm not even sure how it's going to work for this game since if all your Pokemon in the party gets the ex gets experience points, then if it used to work in the older Pokemon games, then like for example, if I beat a Magic Harp and then the experience points get distributed throughout the whole Pokemon on my party, then every one of them gets one's effort value in speed. So perhaps they change something, we don't really know. So I'll ignore it for the most part. For the most part for now. Doing alright there, Grookey. Let's be sure you're in tip top shape. You healed, healed him again. <laughs> now where is Wulu? We need to get that Pokedex. Wulu please! Whoops. Rookie D. Flying type? Is this supposed to be Godler's version of PG and PG, Taylo, etc. We just scratch. Anyway, since that is a flying type. We'll just keep using scratch. I don't have a Pokeball to use to catch to catch them yet. So where is Wulu? Did you hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out? You think? Come on, let's go, let's go. Another battle. Because for every patch of grass we encounter, for every patch of grass we are going to encounter at least one Pokemon. I'm just gonna keep using branch branch bog against squall bet. Alright, let's resume saving that Wulu. Aren't there any items here? What's this? 
get the feeling there's something here. Come on, Kindred, that Wolo might be in real trouble. Let's go. It's so foggy here. I can barely see anything. This is mad, I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I get now why this place is off limits. Is happening. Oh, hello. It's <laughs> it's the legendary. <laughs> what? Battle against him this early. No level whatsoever. But Still going to try and attack him anyway. Wait, it's an illusion? Mysterious Pokemon's gaze is fixed on you. No, but no effect on it. Let's try Growl. <laughs> Still nothing. Another fog. Kindred, I can't see anything, you okay? Still isn't going to do anything. Now I can see Grookey. Well, I can still see him, barely. We're gonna get lost in here. Did we... did we fall asleep? I knew it. <laughs> Up, Kindred! What? Lee? How'd you manage to find your way here? Your pants with directions. You always get lost. Oh, that's nice to hear from the little brother who had me worried sick. I've been I've been waiting ages for you two and you never showed. Of course I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where's the Wulu? You were trying to rescue that Wulu. Oh, Charizard already took care of it. <laughs> the little chap's just fine, though all of you had fainted by the time I found you here. You know, this place is out of bounds. But it took courage to come in here all the same. And I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. And at least that wool is alright. Yeah, Kindred? I thought we'd had it when that weird fog started rolling in and that mad Pokemon attacked. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hop? It seemed that loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. And it just had this sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really. They seem to pass right through it. Your moves pass right through it. So the fearsome Pokemon they say live in the slumbering world. Are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough and maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be alright now that I'm here with you. Even if we did get an earful from Lee, what an experience! This will make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Wedgers now. She'll go spare if you leave without a word, even worse than Lee just did. Right, so we're returning on our home finally. But before that, episode 1 of Let's Play Pokemon Sword and Shield will be ending here, guys. So I hope to see you for the next episode. See you!